Friday. Welcome to our Friday Daily Bible Reading. I hope you are getting a blessing in this day as we slip into the weekend. Wow, weekend's here. One more day. Yesterday we looked at the part of our uh, look at the Bible happening of Joseph in Egypt as he forces his brothers to bring the youngest brother, Benjamin, to him if they were going to get more food to survive the famine that was upon all the lands. So we see it's time to face the results of all the things they've been trying to hide. It's time to pay the piper, as my mom used to say. And he turned away from them and wept. But when he returned to them and spoke to them, he took uh, Simon, or Simeon, from them and bound him before their eyes. What's he doing? He's making sure that they have to come back. You know, he tells them they can't come back for more food, but he takes, and I don't know how they explain this to Dad. You know, as I was reading this uh, several years ago and I was reading through this story and preached through it a couple times, I wonder really what they said to Dad when they showed up with yet another son not coming back. And they, and they didn't come clean because they didn't tell him about, you know, Benjamin because we see as we look at this and as we go forward that uh, I don't know how they explain all this. Why does Joseph do this? That is what jumped onto my thoughts at, and into my mind as I read this the first time years ago. Was it just a cruel act of vengeance? The product of 20 years of bitterness and resentment? No. The Bible is very clear that Joseph never indulged in any resentment against his brothers who had injured him. And uh, Genesis 45, 55, or 45, 5. And how do not be grieved or angry with yourselves because you sold me here for God sent me before you to preserve life. You know, he's not resentful in the way that I would be. Man, I would have held their uh, feet to the fire and I probably would have said, you remember that dream I got thrown in the pit for? Well, now it's about to come true. He didn't do any of that. As we look at this and as we see this, it seems to me that it is clear that Joseph's purpose in speaking harshly and accusing the brothers of spying is not motivated by bitterness, but by a desire to discover information regarding health and well-being of his father Jacob and his younger brother Benjamin. He's trying to require some information, I think, in this. And as he goes through this, but there's a purpose for everything that he does, and there's a purpose for everything that God does uh, as we look at this. But I think the main reason that the Holy Spirit uses this to allow a test is he's trying to test their character. Have they changed in how they care for each other? You know, they threw, the, threw him into a pit. He was their brother. They hated him. Have they changed? Has age and life changed them like it did Joseph? Joseph wasn't the same person at 17 years old when they threw him in the pit as he was as his brothers come in and bow before him and ask him to save their lives, more or less. Also, we see God uses this to bring out into the light what has gone on in darkness of sin for so long. So there's a consequence for holding sin, and there's a consequence for doing sin. And they've been trying to cover this sin, and now they're not going to be able to cover it anymore. You know, it would have been, like I say, it would have been nice to be a fly on the wall and see how they've explained coming back with yet another brother being gone. <coughs> and you got to look at Jacob, too, because he sent them out, and they come back with yet another brother missing. And now they want to take Benjamin? And he's saying, no way. We see how, he, how Judah convinced him last time. He said, I'll be responsible. Well, weren't you responsible for Simon? Simeon? <clears throat> Very interesting how God brings us back to where we're tested. And you know what? We all have to answer for the things that we do in this life one way or another. And these brothers are having to do it now. You see, there's a trust factor when you violate a trust. But Judah... Judea says, or Judah says, I will take care of him. Let, trust Benjamin with me. I'll take care of him. 
And his father did. He had, they had to face their fear. There wasn't a lot of choices. So they go. But to make sure that they brought Benjamin back, he keeps his other brother. And uh, we're going to talk here tomorrow about the fact that he didn't keep the second. He didn't keep the, the oldest brother. He kept the second oldest brother. It's kind of interesting. There comes a day when we have to, what is done in darkness comes to light. The scriptures tell us that. And everything that's done in darkness will be exposed to light. Don't you think it would have been good if they would have exposed it to light themselves? But we as people sometimes don't do things until we're forced to. What have you been hiding? What do you need to bring to light today? Your gracious Heavenly Father, shine the gospel light on our hearts. Show us, Lord, what we need to do and what we need to confess and what we need to set right. In Jesus' name we pray.